Have you seen <laughs> what's going on with the Madami protests, TK? Mm. Have you seen this? Yeah, there's a lot of talk about it right now. It is so stupid. It is so interesting. And I think we are going to... Ineffective. Uh, probably ineffective unless... Ineffective. Well, what's the goal here? So we got this doctor lawyer guy right who you know has a social media presence of being you know somewhat uh, affluent you know he's got a couple of teslas and he's got affluent friends and Check he's, he's stuff a, he's a baller right he's a big you baller know? and uh you know he's a lawyer he's a doctor i mean he's he's doing okay man, man of many hats many many hats tk and <clears throat> apparently not a real estate investor well, <laughs> well, you know, he didn't, he didn't get not that a good hat, one, uh, right? Uh, to fit on his head, that's for sure. Well, the hat fit. It just uh, he he didn't do a good job, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So, so like, who in their right mind speculates on not one two point four million dollar new construction home, mm -hmm. but two two point yeah. four million dollar pre-construction homes I and can, these are not houses by two of them that's that was a story when when he's in line hey what are you getting oh what, what lot are you getting yeah i'm gonna get lot 53 and lot 77 right look at me look at me whoa i bet he drives a tesla oh i'll bet he has two teslas i bet he's a doctor and a lawyer <laughs> i'll bet he's a doctor <laughs> and a lawyer i'm you know what daryl I, I think we should cut this out because this is really bad a press right so that's not Throw this guy under the bus too much. I think oh. he's he's gonna get enough. I uh, threw him under the bus so he's hard get on enough uh, kill, uh, as it is. I don't on Twitter. Should, uh, yeah, I hit I hit him hard, and then some he people started hard. talking about libel suits. <laughs> yeah, See, and let's, slander let's, suits. Let's, let's 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 cut it. We're we're a mainstream show now, dear. We mainstream. gotta be careful on what we're. Talking we need to about talk on, on about this though. It's big. Yeah, it's I big. Know, but, you know, it's a big story. Take it easy on the guy. The guy's I'm sure the guy's a great guy, and I'm sure he has made. Uh, a mistake and that he's learned from it and he's going to come out the other side a lot better. I think that that is not correct. And I think that it is actually mm -hmm. indicative of the sickness that we have here in this real estate market. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a much bigger problem, right? And I also think, this is what I was just thinking. So we got Aspen Ridge canceled. We talked about that last week, right? Yeah. So, so, and we have Madami now, you know, dropping prices a ton from one uh, uh, phase to they the next. Sold. So I think, and I, I'm probably wrong because I generally am, but I would think if I was a, a another developer, builder, the same or close in size to either of those guys, I mean, there's not too many of them, but I mean... Would I not be going, well, you know, if Aspen Ridge can do it uh, and and they didn't get slaughtered. It's not, it's not, you know, our company that's screwing everybody. It's just, you know, a sign of the times. Jump in the pool. Now right? is the time to go. Jump in the pool. Now is the time to go. Rate, uh, lower prices, uh, you know, launch projects. I think there's a lot of projects launching. There's projects that are launching right now that have been trying to launch forever. And all of a sudden now it's like they're launching and I'm seeing it because I'm in these these WhatsApp group with all these agents. And it's like, here we go. Then you've got the projects that have been for sale for like over a year and they are throwing incentive after incentive after incentive. It is like a trip, you know, you're going to get a trip and you're going to get, uh, you know, we're giving away a car to one lucky agent and your commission was going to be here. But if you sell three, it's going to be here. And that's like, they are throwing seven, eight percent so commissions much at these projects to get them sold, which tells me they're not moving. And there's oh, advertisements. There's a couple of projects that I won't name that I've been following and that they are advertising like crazy. They're spending a ton of money because if you got 200 houses to sell and you have to take a hundred thousand dollar hit to get them sold, that's $20 million, right? So why not go and drop half a million dollars on some ads and marketing, right? Sure. To keep try the to price do something. Up. The problem is you end up losing you, both. <laughs> exactly. The problem is you don't know. You're just starting to marketing. The way marketing works is you have to be doing it consistently for a long period of time. For me just to go and start marketing a project and all of a sudden start putting it on XYZ, billboards, radio, TV, whatever, nobody recognizes it. They don't even know what you're talking about. There has no. to be a continuous 
stream of information over a long oh, period of time. Yeah. And that leads to more sales because you've built a brand, you've built success and you've captivated the audience. 